Today, we are taking a look at the Toyota ProBox NCP160V for the 2014 model year kit from Ashima. This is going to be the Japan Expressway Patrol Vehicle Kit. 124 scale curbside kit. And it is today's What's in the Box. Welcome into the garage, everyone. So this is going to be a modified reissue. This two lanes uh, started back in 2017 with the initial release as the uh, Pro Box uh, succeed. They did both versions. Then in 2019, they did reissued it with a new set of decals as the ultimate Nipical variation. And then in 2019, also they did the reissued it as the 2018 Mazda Familia. So if you don't know what the Japan Express Patrol is, don't feel bad. You know, the only one I had to look this up too. Basically, uh, is various uh, private companies in Japan uh, take care of all the expressways in Japan. Uh, Nexco, uh, Hanshin, they all operate basically the expressways. And so they, their responsibility is for everything. They do the construction, they do maintenance, they do uh, uh, accidents, uh, breakdowns, all that stuff they handle those incidents. Obviously, the police fire will come in too, but it's their job to keep the expressways moving. Let's check it out. Getting started with the body, and you can see it is molded in a lovely shade of yellow. Now we're going to take a look at the body parts tree, which has the hood, fender, uh, and front bumper. Hood, fenders, and front bumper. And now getting started with the chassis parts tree, which you can see is also molded in a lovely shade of yellow. And if we flip it over, that is going to be basically uh, the floor of the chassis or floor of the interior. You build up on it. And now taking a look at some of the other side of the parts tree, the suspension, you have a spare tire wheel there, the exhaust, uh, the rear axle. Let's take a look at one of the main interior suspension, whatever parts tree has a little bit of everything on it. And we'll start up top with will be the interior door panels, steering wheel, door handles, some other bits. Down here we have some suspension pieces. Looks like a fuel tank, the rear bumper, brake rotors. Spindles. And moving on to the next interior parts which has basically the seats, center console. And up top you have the front seats and the two piece front rear seats. Down below you have the two piece, well, it's three piece, but two of the three pieces of the rear seat. Actually, all the seats are going to be three pieces. I am mistaken. Just down there you have the seat bottoms. Actually, I guess four for the front seat if you count the supports that the front seats sit on. And the rear cargo area piece there. And one last interior sort of, maybe we have the dash. And you have the radiator so up there on the left. We'll start with it there. And you have the dash, some other dash pieces, gear sh shift, lever. Now take a look at the grill and front bumper piece parts tree whatever 
So the lower part of the bumper grill, lower bumper grill. And new for this kit will be this set of parts trees, or some of the new parts trees for this kit. This will be the the roof piece, which is a sign, essentially. Let's warn motorists what is going on. Now we're going to take a look at the some of the clear parts trees. First, the main clear parts tree here, which has the front windows, the side windows, the vent pieces. Headlight lenses and lower fog light. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, those will be lower fog light lenses, I believe, which you won't be using. Here, take a look at some more of the clear transparent parts. This one is going to be the clear amber orange parts tree, which you're only going to be using a few of these pieces. You'll be using the, the light bar lenses here, the light bar base, and I think that's about it. Maybe the, the flashers up there. And then you have the tail lights, which are done into transparent red. And then the opening there, the tail light, or the backup, or backup and turn signal part of the tail light goes there. Now we're going to take a look at the chrome and satin chrome finish parts tree. First, the wheels, which are just a set of steelies. It's actually pretty good. I would use those straight out of the box, actually. I wouldn't strip them and do anything else with them. And the chrome parts tree, which has the headlight buckets, part of the tail lights, the, the backup, the backup uh, housing there, and mirror faces. And I'll take a look at the tires, or the tire baggie, which gets you the tires. You have five of them. For those that care, they are Yokohama Job RY52 tires. Get a set of uh, four springs, yes, because Ashima loves their working suspension, poly caps, and to make the metal pieces to make license plates with. And finally, we're going to take a look at the window mask and decal sheet first. The window mask sheet, which has the mask for the front window, the rear window, and the side cargo windows. And onto the decal sheet, and you're probably noticing, like I did, what is missing, the, any decals for the stripes, that red and white striping that goes on the front and rear bumpers. Kind of disappointing. It's going to be a pain in the you-know-what to do those, the mask and paint that. But nonetheless, everything else there is present. You have uh, decals for the signs, arrow, directional arrows, stuff in Japanese. I don't know what it says. So that, my friends, is going to do it for this look at the 2014 Toyota Probox NCP160V for the Japan Expressway Patrol kit from Ashima. I mean, I have no idea if you can get any Toyota Probox color match paint from scale finishes. I don't even know. If you can find the paint codes, you can see if you can get them mixed up. But all you need for this one is you just need some yellow. Any yellow, yellow will do, I guess. So on that note, thanks for watching.